This is Classic Poetry Aloud. You can hear more readings of classic poetry at classicpoetryaloud.com. Grenadier by A. E. Houseman. The Queen she sent to look for me. The sergeant he did say, Young man, a soldier will you be for thirteen pence a day? For thirteen pence a day did I take off the things I wore, and I have marched to where I lie, and I shall march no more. My mouth is dry, my shirt is wet, my blood runs all away, so now I shall not die in debt for thirteen pence a day. Tomorrow, after new young men, the sergeant he must see, for things will all be over then between the queen and me, and I shall have to bait my price, for in the grave, they say, is neither knowledge nor device, nor thirteen pence a day. This is Classic Poetry Aloud. You can hear more readings of classic poetry at classicpoetryaloud.com. The Dalliance of the Eagles by Walt Whitman Skirting the river road, my forenoon walk, my rest, Skyward, in the air, a sudden, muffled sound, The dalliance of the eagles, The rushing, amorous contact, high in space together, The clinching, interlocking claws, a living, fierce, gyrating wheel, Four beating wings, two beaks, a swirling mass, tight grappling, in tumbling, turning, clustering loops, straight downward falling, till o'er the river poised, the twain yet one, a moment's lull, a motionless, still balance in the air, then parting, talons loosing, upward again on slow, firm pinions slanting, their separate, diverse flight, she hers, he his, pursuing. This is Classic Poetry Aloud. You can hear more readings of classic poetry at classicpoetryaloud.com. Sonnet 57 by William Shakespeare Being Your Slave Being your slave, what should I do but tend upon the hours and times of your desire? I have no precious time at all to spend, nor services to do, till you require. Nor dare I chide the world without end hour, whilst I, my sovereign, watch the clock for you, nor think the bitterness of absence sour when you have bid your servant once adieu. Nor dare I question with my jealous thought where you may be, or your affairs suppose, but like a sad slave stay and think of naught, save where you are, how happy you make those. So true a fool is love that in your will Though you do anything, he thinks no ill. This is Classic Poetry Aloud. You can hear more readings of classic poetry at classicpoetryaloud.com. Peace by Henry Vaughan My soul, there is a country far beyond the stars, Where stands a winged sentry, all skilful in the wars. There, above noise and danger, sweet peace sits crowned with smiles, and one, born in a manger, commands the beauteous files. He is thy gracious friend, and, O oh, my soul, awake, did in pure love descend to die here for thy sake. If thou canst get but thither, there grows the flower of peace, the rose that cannot wither, thy fortress, and thy ease. Leave then thy foolish ranges, for none can thee secure but one who never changes, thy God, thy life, thy cure. This is Classic Poetry Aloud. You can hear more readings of classic poetry at classicpoetryaloud.com. Gravis Dulcis Immutabilis by James Elroy Flecker Come. Let me kiss your wistful face, where sorrow curves her bow of pain, and live sweet days and bitter days with you, or wanting you again. I dread your perishable gold. Come near me now, the years are few, alas, when you and I are old, I shall not want to look at you, and yet 
Come in. I shall not dare to gaze upon your countenance, but I shall huddle in my chair, turn to the fire, my fireless glance, and listen, while that slow and grave, immutable, sweet voice of yours rises and falls, as falls a wave in summer on forgotten shores. This is Classic Poetry Aloud. You can hear more readings of classic poetry at classicpoetryaloud.com. The Grass So Little Has to Do by Emily Dickinson The grass so little has to do, a sphere of simple green, with only butterflies to brood and bees to entertain, and stir all day to pretty tunes the breezes fetch along, and hold the sunshine in its lap and bow to everything and thread the dews all night like pearls, and make itself so fine a duchess were too common for such a noticing. And even when it dies, to pass in odours so divine, like lowly spices lain to sleep, or spikenards perishing, and then in sovereign barns to dwell, and dream the days away, the grass so little has to do, I wish I were a hay. This is Classic Poetry Aloud. You can hear more readings of classic poetry at classicpoetryaloud.com. The World is Too Much With Us by William Wordsworth The world is too much with us. Late and soon, getting and spending, we lay waste our powers. Little we see in nature that is ours. We have given our hearts away, a sordid boon. The sea that bears her bosom to the moon the winds that will be howling at all hours and are upgathered now like sleeping flowers. For this, for everything, we are out of tune. It moves us not. Great God, I'd rather be a pagan, suckled in a creed outworn, so might I, standing on this pleasant lee, have glimpses that would make me less forlorn, have sight of Proteus rising from the sea, or hear old Triton blow his wreathed horn. This is Classic Poetry Aloud. You can hear more readings of classic poetry at classicpoetryaloud.com. The World is Too Much With Us by William Wordsworth The world is too much with us. Late and soon, getting and spending, we lay waste our powers. Little we see in nature that is ours, we have given our hearts away, a sordid boon. The sea that bears her bosom to the moon, the winds that will be howling at all hours, and are upgathered now like sleeping flowers, for this, for everything, we are out of tune. It moves us not. Great God, I'd rather be a pagan, suckled in a creed outworn, so might I, standing on this pleasant lee, have glimpses that would make me less forlorn, have sight of Proteus rising from the sea, or hear old Triton blow his wreathed horn. This is Classic Poetry Aloud. You can hear more readings of classic poetry at classicpoetryaloud.com. The Pilgrimage by Sir Walter Raleigh Give me my scallop shell of quiet, my staff of faith to walk upon, my scrip of joy, immortal diet, my bottle of salvation, my gown of glory, hope's true gauge, and thus I'll take my pilgrimage. Blood must be my body's balmer, no other balm will there be given, whilst my soul, like quiet palmer, travelleth towards the land of heaven. Over the silver mountains, where spring the nectar fountains, there will I kiss the bowl of bliss, and drink mine everlasting fill upon every milk and hill. My soul will be a dry before, but after it will thirst no more. 